Hey everybody, I'm Janine, and if you are new here, welcome to That's Cakeable. If you're getting back on the Cakeable train, welcome back. I know it's been a hot minute. This week, I'm bringing you a little bit of a hints and tips tutorial. One thing I see a lot of people asking about is how to get deep, dark, rich colors in your buttercream. Well, I'm gonna show you how it's done, and it's easier than you think. Let's get on with the video. So the first thing, of course, you want to do is to make up your batch of buttercream. I'm using my 4816 Swiss meringue buttercream that you can find on my website at thatscakeable.com. So I thought, what's the point in doing a video like this unless I'm gonna show you guys some really challenging colors? So to my first batch of buttercream, I'm adding some red gel color. Just take a spatula and mix that really well into your buttercream. So I'm not using any fancy colorings or anything like that, just plain old gel color. For my second batch, I'm adding some Midnight Blue. The darkest colors are always the hardest, so I'm up for the challenge. And then of course, the Elusive Black. To the last batch, I've added just some Super Black Gel Color. I went ahead and mixed all of those colors really well together, and now this is where the science kicks in. What kind of science? I don't know but it works. With each batch of my buttercream, I popped it into the microwave for between 10 and 15 seconds. Yep, that's the trick. You then wanna take it out of the microwave and mix it really, really well. As you can see, the color has already really intensified. I did that with all three colors and then at room temperature, I just set them aside and waited for them to firm up a little bit. Once they've firmed up enough, I just took a hand mixer and mixed them up. Can you see the massive difference that's made without a load of gel color, a load of stress, and a load of waiting time? Even the black ended up black. And of course, if you wanted to use even less gel color in your black buttercream, you could just start with a chocolate buttercream. Now, I've got no idea exactly why this works, simply because I haven't done the research, but it worked. You saw it all done today and how easy it really is. Well guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining in and I hope I taught you a thing or two today. I know I've been a little bit low key on YouTube lately, but that's because the big wide world is opening up for me and presenting new opportunities. However, I do have some new videos on a new page that you can go and have a look at anytime you like. I will pop the link in the description below. Thanks so much for joining me and I hope to see you next time. Until then, you know the deal. Go and get your cake on. See you later, guys.